During his familiarization visit to the region since becoming the ICT minister, Dr. Mushelenga said he wanted to assess issues related to network coverage and see firsthand where improvement is needed. On his part, while briefing the minister, Omaheka Regional Governor Pio Nganate touched on the ministry's nationhood and national pride campaign that he felt needs to be strengthened and rolled out through the region. And we know that uh, the Ministry of, MS, uh, of uh, Information of the my country, my pride drive, which we also think is not really being uh, launched full out. Uh, if you go to some of the schools, like when you see them, uh, some private schools, you have to hear anthem being sung. Yeah, uh, the more private uh, black schools, you will see those ones, but the schools that are currently integrated, no anthems have been sung. You raise a very important issue, that one of national pride. Mm -hmm. In fact, we will soon have this campaign launched by the president of the state yet to be determined mm -hmm. because we have to build this nation. We cannot afford to have a polarized mm -hmm. and divided society mm -hmm. in a small population of barely over two million. People should be able to have cohesion, cohesion mm -hmm. in order to build this country in unison. Governor Piyonga Nate narrated that connectivity remains a challenge in remote areas in terms of cellular and radio network. He said in some parts of the region, communities are only able to listen to one station, while in others there is just no network access. Agreeing with the governor, Dr. Mushelenga said the government media employees should coordinate and not compete as they have the obligation to objectively keep the public informed. He further called for them to practice a balanced reporting by reporting not only the challenges but the successes as well, adding that they should be comprehensive and on time. He officially handed over the equipment to the Oshombinde Multipurpose Community Center, which were donated by Telecom. Donated items consist of two laptops, audiovisual camera, a tripod, and microphone. I would like to thank Telecom for donating this equipment because it will be enabling the volunteers here to capture images when they are reporting on issues in this area of Ocean Bindi. And I would like to call upon other state-owned enterprises to emulate this example of telecom we have a number of regional or constituency offices that we are operating from where we need audio-visual equipment to keep the Namibian nation informed.